Since the dawn of controller-based shooters, claw has become a major style of play. All right, so believe it or not, the popular controller grip that is debated heavily nowadays in Fortnite used to be a popular and greatly used grip by many pro esports players and pros from older games. But due to the massive popularity of Fortnite, it has kind of shed new light on the claw and the debate of its effectiveness. In this video today, we're going to be taking a look at claw and seeing whether it's actually worth learning and doing, and if the positives outweigh the negatives, if there are any at all. We're also going to be doing an in-depth look at how claw works with different kinds of controllers and whether or not you can benefit from claw if you're playing with paddles or any other forms of controllers. But before we dive into that, if you want to take your controller skills to the next level, then you got to check out ProGuys.com, where we have courses for controller players specifically taught by Lecce himself, a World Cup qualifier. We also have one-on-one -on -one coaching from the top tier controller players catered to help you guys get to the next level. So let me ask you this question, like, what are you waiting for? Check the link out in the description below. What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend. Come on, say it with me, the one and only Keith Allen. How you guys doing today? Listen, I'm here to motivate you guys to be the best that you can be, not only in this game, but also in life. Yo, I hope you guys believe that there's so many things that are possible. Like anything you put your mind to is possible. So if you believe you can't do it, put your mind to it, man. Keep striving, keep believing. Don't give up, don't quit, don't surrender. Connect with me on my new Insta at Your Motivation Guy. Guy. Connect with me, man, as soon as you can. All right, it's time to sit back, relax, and grab my favorite candy. About to have that like today. It's that bunch of crunch. Let's get this going. So let's start off by taking a look at why Claw is even a thing. What makes Claw such a hot topic that deserves all of the attention it has? Well, first, Claw gives controller players the ability to press multiple buttons at the same time while still being able to aim and move. You know, it also gives them the ability to press very important buttons without sacrificing important seconds on their aiming. Okay, so how this works is that there is basically one aim theme that goes across all standard controllers. Whether you're on Xbox, PS4, or even Switch, your 4, A, B, X, Y, or triangle, square, circle, X are all located directly next to your right analog stick. The right analog stick is what almost everybody uses to aim. The only players who like don't use the right analog stick are those who play on inverted settings. Now, why is that being able to press buttons while aiming so important? Well, if you have to take your thumb off of the analog stick every single time you want to press a button, you're wasting valuable seconds that you could be using to aim and shoot. And this causes a huge problem, my friends, especially in this game we call Fortnite. Fortnite is a game where you need to aim, build, and edit like a lot of times at the same time. This makes it so that you have to press buttons very quickly and efficiently, either consecutively or even at the same time. Wasting viable time, oh my goodness, letting go of your aim is not a viable option if you want to play Fortnite at the pro level and win. The fact of the matter is that every pro player like who plays Fortnite on controller that doesn't use paddles is using claw. There is not a single controller player that doesn't do one of the two. To make sense of this concept, let's take a look at a quick example. You guys ready? Let's go. Let's say you're in a fight with someone and you need to quickly switch to build mode and place a wall, edit that wall, and then shoot your opponent. First, you would have to take your thumb off of the aiming stick and then move it over to your switch mode button. Then you'd have to move it over in order to click edit. And then once again, move it over to confirm. And finally, move it back over to aim where you can take control of your player back. Hmm. And by then, you had absolutely no tracking of your opponent and you could be looking at the completely wrong area. You follow? So what's great about Claw is that you can actually use multiple parts of your pointed finger to simultaneously press the four buttons on the right. This means you don't have to move one finger from point A to B to point C. You can instead press multiple buttons whenever you desire. How great is that? Just by slightly changing the area where you apply pressure with your pointer finger. The other great thing about Claw is that you always have control over your aim, which is the most important aspect of Fortnite. You know, we've talked about this many times before, and we're gonna continue because of how important this thing is to remember and always keep in mind. Aiming is the most important aspect of Fortnite, hands down, like period. If you can't aim, man, you're not gonna win anything. You could go far even if your other skills aren't exactly the best, but with bad aim, oh my goodness, you can almost go nowhere near the pro level. Even if every other skill you have is impeccable. This is because of the core concept that you can't shoot an enemy if they can't shoot you, and you can always shoot an enemy if they can shoot you. Because of the third person mechanics in Fortnite, you always have an angle on opponents if they have an angle on you. 
This means that if you have 100% aim, you're never gonna lose a single fight because like no matter how much they build, edit, or move, you're gonna be hitting them every single time they have a chance at hitting you. You get it? This is like one of the most important reasons that Claw is helpful. In fact, Claw was created back when jumping was a part of shooters. A player wanted a way to be able to jump and aim at the same time. And this was because jumping was used as a strafing maneuver. Strafing is using your movement to throw off opponents while in gunfights. So strafing is also rare in Fortnite because many players rely on their building instead of their movement for blocking and dodging shots. All right, so now that you know why Claw is so important and all the benefits that come with it, let's take a look at some negatives and whether or not they're deal breakers. And let's also not forget about paddles and other controllers. Now, as good as Claw is, there are of course some negatives that we should go over. First and foremost, Claw is fairly hard to get used to. It is. And it could often be uncomfortable and not very fun, like at first, not be a fun experience at all, learning and getting used to playing Claw. This is because you're holding your controller in a completely different way and learning to press multiple buttons with different fingers and different combinations. Yeah, it can be tough. Not only is this confusing at times, but it also is a bit uncomfortable because of the stretching that goes on your pointer finger. We do feel like it's important to talk about a popular myth about this matter. Many people believe that playing claw on controller can cause issues with your finger joint and even cause permanent damage down the road. Although claw feels uncomfortable, it doesn't have the capacity to actually cause problems to your hands, all right? The only times you may become injured or find problems coming up is if you're doing claw incorrectly or putting too much unnecessary pressure on your hands. These are problems that can happen with any controller grip, to be real. They're just more popular when claw is being discussed because of its natural discomfort in the beginning of the learning process. All right, so second, claw can actually limit how you press certain buttons, and this can be an issue in a game like Fortnite where every button is important. Okay, so when you take your pointer finger off of the right bumper and trigger, you're essentially making it so that your middle finger had to move between the two and press them individually. Although it's possible to press both at the same time using just one finger, you know, it's oftentimes causes you to shift your controller, and that could cause a big problem. However, you know, lucky for you guys, we got a solution for both of these problems. First, for getting used to it with the less discomfort as possible, we suggest playing at intervals while giving your pointer finger a rest, all right? You could do this by playing claw normally for a game or two and then like switch back to the standard grip for a bit. While switching in between these two, you're actually learning a new skill that we're gonna get into a little bit later in this video. As you take these interval breaks, you're gonna be allowing your hands to adjust to the new grip you're using. It's also going to allow you to play like you did before so that, you know, you don't get frustrated with the decrease in skill that happens during the beginning when you're just getting used to this new thing called claw. Now, as you're switching in between these two grips, you're actually learning the best grip, which is the hybrid claw. The hybrid claw is a claw grip that allows you to switch the position of your pointer finger based on the situation. All right, so let's say that you're in a build fight where you're switching between build mode and shooting quickly or a fight where you're jumping a lot. For this, you're gonna be sticking to your normal claw, right? But let's say you're retaking high ground and your main focus is just building, meaning that you know that you're not gonna be switching over to shooting until a bit later. In this situation, my friends, you can actually move your pointer finger back into the original position it's in when it's in the standard grip, meaning that your pointer finger is on the right bumper while your middle finger is on the right trigger. This is going to allow you to select floors and walls simultaneously, basically putting you into a fast build mode. And whenever you're going back to fast fighting and switching, you can switch your grip right back to claw. This is a great way to play as it lessens the tension on your pointer finger, allowing you to take breaks, while also, you know, giving you guys the ability to play in two different ways that most others can't do. All right, so finally, let's talk about other controllers and paddle add-ons, such as the Strike Pack. So, there are, of course, options out there such as Elite, Scuffs, you know, Battle Beavers, and more that allows you guys to play with paddles and other customizations such as trigger stops and tension analog sticks. These are all great options and are by no means negative in any way. I mean, these are all extra add-ins that can take your gameplay to the next level. But are they better than Claw? Mm, I don't know. That's a very difficult question to answer. And to be honest with you guys, there's just a much more better answer than just yes or no. Instead of choosing one over the other, you know, what you should be doing is using both at the same time. Okay, so by adding two paddles to the back of the left and right side of your controller, you're adding four extra buttons that you can use to your advantage while still being able to claw and use the four right side buttons. 
All right, so this gives you the ability to use your pinky and ring finger while playing instead of just letting them rest against the back. Sure, you know, playing with advanced controllers and paddles are a great option, but combining them with claw whew, is by far the most superior way to play Fortnite. If you're an advanced player that is already playing claw or already playing with an advanced controller but not using claw, we suggest that you start doing both at the same time. And this will be the peak of controller gameplay. Now, of course, there's going to be some of you out there that just simply cannot play with these controllers or paddle add-ons because either, you know, you can't afford it or you just don't have access to them for some reason. For those of you that are in this situation, this is what I want you to do. Take advantage of Claw, which is a still very amazing thing to do. And being on a standard controller isn't really much of a setback, all right? As long as you're playing Claw, you're going to have great potential to become a pro player and start racking up earnings and win a Royale and other future events. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my new Insta at Your Motivation Guy because I am your motivation guy. You hear me? I want you guys to be great not only in this game, but also in life. Make sure to never quit, never surrender, keep going, don't give up, and keep your head up, all right? No matter what's going on, keep that smile on your face and be loving to everyone else that comes your way, all right? Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Comment down below what you guys thought and what you like to see next. We strive to bring you guys daily quality content, so do us a favor by liking the video, subscribe to the channel, and show ProGuys.com some love for bringing you this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.